It is 7.30 a.m. on Sunday, April somethingeth. But this is where Drowsy's been fishing the last couple times and I'm just going up to meet him now. So he, I told him last night, late last night, I was gonna come up fishing early this morning and he was up for it, so <laughs> crazy bugger. Yeah, it, this looks like real fishy. So if you've watched some of my videos, you know I like to rig up at home. So I've got a couple of these foam things with different rigs going on. And I'm gonna throw what I threw last week, which is a drop shot indicator rig. Uh, two flies, my bottom fly is this red hybrid steely worm, which I like to call a red wire Reese's Pieces. And then I got a copper J about 18 inches up from that. And a single split shot. And this is the water we're fishing today. A spot that Drowsy's shown me, which is just upriver from Cranston. The first time I fished Cranston three weeks ago was back around that bend to the right. So yeah, we know the water's fishy. We know Drowsy's been hooking up to some trouts in here. So yeah, let's uh, throw the rig on and get in some fish. Okay guys, so another plan for the day if I get a fish on, I want to try to get my line onto the reel and play it from the reel. Because people keep telling me it's fun and uh, I like having fun when I'm fishing, so we'll give it a shot. It does seem like fun. Drowsy's hooked up to something. Here guys, Drowsy caught a fish. Drowsy, you excited? Yeah! Woo! Let's get more fishes. First fish. First fish. Uh, that's only been like 15 minutes, so it's pretty good. Oh, of course, I forgot my sunglasses today. So I'm a noob. I am such a noob. I got a fish. I think it's a whitey. Oh wait, I'm supposed to play this on the reel. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. If he doesn't fall off. Well, I'm, ke I'm keeping the side pressure. Yeah, he's staying so low, it's gotta be a white. He's not, he doesn't have enough power to run my reel. Oh, maybe he does. This is a fighter, man, jeez. If only it was a brown trout. That's <laughs> just a big whitey. Oh, a yeah, she's a she's a fella. Oh my god! All right, it's time to be serious. You the baby of that, that fish. All right, there's a nice 18-inch whitey, maybe 17. We gotta take off these gloves though. These aren't, these, oh, don't get them wet. Come on. You know what he took. <laughs> yeah, he took the Reese's Reese's. Oh, it just came out though. So I'm just gonna worry about the fish. Oh, that's a nice size fish, right? Get your little snoot out of there, buddy. That's, that's literally my problem with the other fish. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> All right, let's go. let's go. We're into the fishes. He took the Reese's Pieces red wire. I'm gonna try to lobby Iron Bow to sponsor me with just this fly. Really? <laughs> yeah, as a joke, yes, I'm going to. <laughs> as you can see, the sun has just peeked out over the, the hills of Upper Cranston. See Drowsy and Drowsy's Pops doing a fish down there. And this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking because because the sun just came out and I just feel good. Things are feeling good. I think someone's getting into a trout this morning. I'm calling it. Someone is getting into a trout. 
you know, lately I've had people uh, messaging me on Instagram just to chat fishing spots within the city, which I'm super happy to chat about. You know, they're taking their kids fishing or they want to try a new spot or they want advice on how to cast an indicator rig and it's just, it's really cool interacting with you guys. You know, I had someone ask me on Instagram about uh, how I cast kind of these, these drop shot rigs with an indicator and a couple flies and the shot at the bottom. And so I'll show you guys real quick now and take this one with a grain of salt because I'm a beginner, I've been doing this for a year, but I've just kind of figured out what works for me. So when my fly line has swung back behind me like this and it's essentially water loaded, I'll do a quick pull, flip up once, and then once that hits the water quickly, do another single cast back and cast forward. So it's basically a one, two, three. And you really have to minimize false casting. Make sure that whatever's behind you is clear. If behind you is water, then you can water load that cast too. But um, it is easy to get these things tangled quickly and brutally, especially when you have both of your flies on a tag, like I do. So I just wanted to throw that out there as uh, my one, two, three casting tip for this kind of rig. As I'm catching more fish and more people are asking me questions, I figure I might as well throw in some little additional tidbits of information as I, I grow and get a little better at fishing and better at making videos and yeah. That's, that's all part of the growth process for me and, and my fishing and the YouTube side of things. Now, after this cast, I'm going to check that my filming is actually relatively straight. Wait, hold on. No, I just lost a fish. 100% just lost a fish. Yeah, I'll take that cast. Not bad. Oh, that's a big fish. I got a big one. <sighs> See if we can get him on the reel. <sighs> He's fighting me. I think that's trout. Oh, might not be actually. That's just another big whitey. I think it's just a big whitey. He's a fighter. It's just a big whitey, guys. Damn, was I recording? I was recording. Look at that guy, huh? Huh? Look at him. That guy gave an effort. This guy might be the same damn fish. <laughs> oh, and you know what he took, guys. Everyone on YouTube knows what he took. Red wire Reese's Pieces. <laughs> How about that? That might be the shot. <laughs> All right, should we do a release on him? All right. Uh, yeah, dude, if you want to. You want to do it here? All right, guys, we're going to do an underwater release with Drowsy. Oh, oh, honey, this is fine, man. I probably have another hour to fish and I gotta head back to the car. Gotta be home by 11, guys. That's the rule. I fish in four hour increments. Well, Jazzy just got a rainbow trout. You got a rainbow? Nice, dude. You do this, my guy. All right, guys, that's what a trout looks like, if you've forgotten. <laughs> Nice dude. Nice fish. Why? I couldn't even tell you really. I couldn't even tell you. Well. Later, bud. I have to say I actually like this area better than my other spot in Cranston. Just because there's so, so much workable area. And you can do indicator nymphing, you can do streamer fishing. This is an absolutely gorgeous area to fish, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you like what I'm doing, uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe.
subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos. I would love that. I like interacting with you guys. Um, so hit me up with a comment and uh, yeah, good luck fishing. The weather's really starting to get nice out. Even on a day like this, it started at minus six, got into a couple fish. It's April, you know, all the snow in the city's melting. Spring is coming guys, so get excited, get out there, hook into some fish, have fun. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm trying to grow that slowly and get more into the social media thing. But also DM me on there if you have any questions or if you just want to chat fishing, all right? Take care guys and good luck fishing.